make it worth it for you when you want to throw in the towel and you give up. For me, God, I found God. <laughs> you don't ever give up because you're going to fail. You're going to make mistakes. But you have to fight. You have to push. And you have to pray. You have to keep your head up. <laughs> because things are always going to happen to you in life no matter what. You might be uncomfortable. You might lose sleep, but so what? Okay. Because the thing is that causes you pain today will have purpose in your life later on. I don't know if everyone can relate to this, but um, um, in a black household, when you mention your depressed, what are you talking about? You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I thank God for pulling me out of stuff and keeping me. He's brought me from a lot of stuff. And I always tell people, if it wasn't for me waking up and praying every day and having so people surrounded by me or, you know, me, coming to the way church, I don't know where I was. Yeah, friends are there for you, but God is always there. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, there's not she's like, girl, not like, I'll let him out. There's not she's been crying, and you're telling God you're all I have left, and if you love me, why did this have to fall apart? And you might feel like you're broken, but you're not broken, you're in the process of healing. So the time I started to come to church a little bit more, so I became real faithful and all that, and every time I came, Pastor Scott told her house down, and every message yeah. was, <laughs> Okay, and every message was right down my alley. That's why I realized I was praying for God to fix everything, but I still had my hand in the mix, so I can give Him room to move on my behalf. Body, regardless of whatever you're going through, truly give it all to God because He will move on your behalf once you give Him the room to do so. And even if you're in a low place, a dark place, whatever the case is, if you feel lonely, just know that God promises never leave nor forsake you. Because after the situation, I never talked about it after. The day it happened, I went like five minutes to my parents, and we did what we had to do after that, and it was just over, and it was never talked about again. So I kind of just like pushed to the back burner or whatever like that. After the situation, I kind of got to a place where he kind of took my voice. Because it's like, I said no to him, I said no to my friends. So it's like, if my friends aren't even listening to me, then why would anybody else going forward? And this is not what I'm trying to do or whatever. And they would be like, oh, yeah, I respect you, but at the end of the day, they didn't. So it was just like, I kind of just started looking at myself as an object. Like, I'm not a beautiful full like I don't really have a purpose like I'm really just here to just please others the way they want to and who cares about my feelings and you know what I believe and what I want to say what I think so you kind of do it it's like it's a free like I will walk out like y'all not about to sit here and play me no more um never a liar never doubt yourself or allow others to make you feel less than the strong person you are like, you are beautiful you are strong like you're more than just an object to these people like you have purpose like it's not that you're not alone like people go through it and it happens just know that you matter, your voice matters, your life matters, you have a purpose, like don't let anybody take your voice ever. This parable is very simple. It's a metaphor that Jesus was using as he was speaking to his disciples. Um, you have a vine and you have branches. The vine is connected to the root. The root is his father. You guys know that God is father of Jesus. God's the root of branches. So Jesus is the vine and we are the branches. So each and every one of you are is a branch. It's a metaphor. You're not actually a branch. You know? So if you're a branch, you guys are saying one bad grape or one bad apple is for the bunch. So if you're not producing food, you'll start affecting every other branch on the vine. You understand what I'm saying? What does it mean to stay connected? It means to bear fruit. It means to give life. What that fruit is, the fruit is life. So whenever you're connected, you're giving life. We're God's tools on earth to go out and make a of key impact and go out and help other people come in and get saved. But it's showing you guys that you guys are not alone. When you stay connected to the branch, when you stay connected to the vine, you have other branches that are right there with you, other people that go through the same things that you're going through. And as long as you stay connected, those branches can help you. Anything that you guys do on earth, nothing will remain. So whenever you stay connected, the things, the works that you do, it will be for the kingdom of heaven, and it will make sure that it will last. It will last. You just said that you're thinking, you have any thoughts in your head, thoughts of suicide, uh, and not just things going on, why don't you guys do? just sit there, open up your Bible, and just read something about it. Even if you don't understand it, 
God will give you understanding. He was, just because you took the step that you, you walked towards him, he'll help you. So pray and read your Bible. That's another way you can stay connected. Another way is staying connected to your brothers and sisters in Christ. When you stay connected to your brothers and sisters in Christ, they say the pack is stronger together. The church, we guys, we are like our pack. So basically what I'm saying is if you stay connected through prayer, through fellowship, and through reading God's word, Thank you. No matter what you're doing, everybody, God will always bring you by. Thank you for allowing me to come out here and shake with you, God, and allowing everybody to talk and give their peace to Him on the things that you have done with them. Thank you, God, for just, just, just thank you, God, for everything. Thank you, God. I ask tonight that as these people go home, I ask that you allow them to want that connection with you.